All right, guys, uh, let's start sharing. I'm Craig, and it's been one week since my last bike ride. <laughs> Yeah, here we are, welcome back to Cancer at Corner. Um, like I said in the intro, it's been about a week since my last workout of any type. Um, and obviously that's been more like just 100% down to uh, the side effects of the chemo that I was on last week. Um, started on, I think it was Wednesday last week. Went to the hospital on the Tuesday to pick the uh, tablets up. Took them for five days. Finished it on the Sunday and I've spent most of my time laying in bed just over there and um, the effect of the chemo drugs is pretty cumulative so every month you take them it gets slightly worse um, but I'm past the halfway point now so I've got three months of uh, probably getting slightly worse each time and then we're finished so hopefully it does the job um, today I'm just getting myself back into it and as the tri club has been running a bit of um like a team what started as a team everest challenge and um basically we got split into teams and we just had to basically cycle or run and climb the height of everest the that's kind of turned into basically who can get the most elevation across the month so i'm doing my part today i'm going to get into this i've got the swift loaded up on the air uh, to fire and ice map which I think is about 1200 metres and um, I want to see if I can get around that day. I should be alright, I feel okay. It was at this moment that he knew. <laughs> it was comical. A bit sickly but not too bad. But uh, it feels nice to be back on the uh, back on the bike again. And um, yeah, I mean, we don't really have an option of going outside the day because it's, you probably can't hear it, but it is blowing an absolute gale. So... I've just stuck to the indoors at the moment and that it's sunny enough but yeah when the wind's not good so so yeah so we'll be indoor training today and hopefully if i can get if i get through this and i feel okay and um, we'll do a bit of a brick run off the bike in there uh, just to get the legs moving because i haven't been for a run for about a week now either and um, so yeah it'll be nice to be able to get a couple of miles under the feet and yeah and then we'll work on the rest of the week so for the rest of the week, um, basically when you come off chemo cycle, you just kind of have to build yourself back up to where you were. It comes back pretty sharpish as the sickness wears off and the sickness does wear off pretty quickly. It only takes you usually three, maybe four days max. And then you get back to pretty much where you were before. Um, so I'll try and get sort of like, we need to get a decent run workout in. Um, and there's a, probably a hard bike to do at some point this week and I think probably towards the end of the week maybe Saturday if the weather's okay for it we'll um, we'll go and we'll take the uh, the 5k time again I think I was 21 30 or so last time and uh, we did quite a lot of pace work training and we were hoping to get under 20 minutes so towards the end of the week we'll go and do another 5k see if we've got that time under 20 minutes um, and if not, we'll try and spend the next couple of weeks getting some good strength and pace work in the legs. And we'll go again in a fortnight and see if we can get the time down any further. So, right, I'll leave you there and um, I've got a few hills to climb. Right, we're about 20 minutes in. Um, just finished the section which is about 10%, rises up about 100 metres and whew, <sighs> it was hard work already so this will be a fun map to do um, I'm feeling pretty sick uh, but we'll keep going see how far we can get up let's go come to the half hour mark now uh, I've got it set to imperial on here because I wanted to track the speed a bit so we'll come up to about 500 feet I think, was it 3.3? It's about, about 150 metres. Uh, the goal of today's session is it's the elevation really is what I want to get for the uh, for the tri-club team. Oh, 
So what I'm trying to do is sort of go easy on the uh, on the flat sections and this section here we're going through a bit of a jungle. So you can't really get your speed up anywhere on the uh, dirt paths. But then uh, put a harder effort in on the on the hills, try and get the benefit for the uh, strength in the legs. And um, I think there's some more steep inclines soon, so uh, it's going to be a good effort. Well, there we go. We've just hit the bottom of Alpha's Swift. Well, straight away, nine percent, ten percent now. Oh Christ! This is going to be painful. Now I'll be completely honest. I didn't know this was on this map. And, and uh, I don't know how far up this I'll get. I'm not even at the first switchback and I already might be sick. <laughs> this is comical. Uh, I'm doing nearly 400 watts just to keep my guy moving forward. What the hell? <laughs> If anyone's got any ideas as to why my dude's not moving here, let me know. Do something else. <laughs> I'm being told off. <laughs> now, but in all seriousness, yeah, chuck my towel in here. This, this isn't what I need to be doing two days after finishing a chemo cycle. Uh, well, Do I'm something else. I'm 700 feet in elevation out of about 3,400 or something. Uh, I'll go up with 1,000 feet, so I've got 300 feet more up here, and then we'll call it, and we'll find a different route. <sighs> right, so after a quick walk with the dog, try and get some colour back in my face, because uh, even after that uh, slight attempt at um, Alta Zwift, I was pretty pasty and white at the end of it so yeah it didn't feel good at all like um i was going to delete it all and um, but i figured actually in the context of the channel it's probably worth leaving in um so a bit more detail to it is obviously this i've just finished this week on sunday i think it's what is it the day tuesday is it because i don't do anything anymore i thought it was tracking days yeah so tuesday so sunday i finished my chemo so um it was basically so I'm like two days after my chemo's finished and this is the first day of fairness that I've even been able to get on the bike I mean most of the time I've been asleep or just having to sit on the couch and take it really easy um but yeah I mean I've found normally once you start getting back into stuff you can keep going um like you said obviously I was quite confident at the start of the uh of the ride that I was going to do the route and go for a run but no that's not going to happen now like I think it's uh, I'm feeling pretty grim I didn't realise that Alba Zwift was on that route, um, but I can't seem to find a gear. I think it must be something to do with the trainer um, the trainer difficulty setting. I always have that set to 100% on Zwift, um, as I find it's, it just gives you good training for sort of like pushing up a little bumps on the time trial bike, but going up sort of 11, 12, 13% gradients, you can't, I can't find a gear small enough for me to get into and that so I might do a bit of experimenting um so sort of goal for the week is I'm going to try and ride every day um and it'll be a mix between sort of easy rides with some lumps in them to get some elevation up for the team and there'll be a couple of uh, workouts from the twi uh, from the workouts from the uh, Zwift Tri Academy which I'm working my way through I've only done two of them so far but um yeah I'm looking forward to trying a few others and then hopefully, um, yeah, after the first couple of days back into training, everything should start going back to normal. And um, yeah, we'll just take it from there. As always, you've got to kind of listen to your body and know when to, when to stop. So unfortunately, it was quicker than I thought it did, but um, we go again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, one step in front of the other and get to the end at some point. I'll leave it there. Um, we'll try and get out for a run tomorrow morning. Hopefully the weather will be nice and uh, we'll go around the... Uh, have a nice little easy jog around the five mile loop and um yeah hopefully there'll be some nice nice things to shoot so i'll catch you then see you there